Friday, we're in the kitchen. We're in the Southern Union State Community College kitchen here. We're joined by Leslie Bailey from the Montgomery Country Club. She has this beautiful setup ready for fall. I know it's not the official first day of fall. Tyler always jokes with me because we were talking earlier saying people think that the start of Labor Day means it falls officially here, but it's not, not till I think it's the 22nd or the 21st. We're getting ready anyways. We tried those yummy pumpkin spice Oreos earlier today on Today in Alabama, and now we're cooking up some fall treats with Leslie. Bailey here in our WSFA kitchen. You have a beautiful setup here. What are we whipping up this Friday? Goodness gracious, we are going to do a traditional fall apple dish. When Ooh. you think of fall, do you think of apple bobbing for apples? I think of apples, pumpkins, all those cinnamon? warm cinnamon, nutmeg. All well, those you're going to be toast. in heaven Perfect. today. Perfect. Are. We're going to make a apple sh a shortcake with some toasted pecans on it, and of course whipped cream, right? Okay. <laughs> what all What all do we have? Well, basically we have a stick of butter. Of course, if it's not butter, it ain't good. <laughs> we have pecans, I have apples, and I chose to use two different apples, a Granny Smith and just a red gala apple. We have a this is a store-bought pound cake, but when you see what I do with it, you're going to just go wowzer. Look, I like store-bought because it makes things a little bit easier in the kitchen. Well, you know what? That's my whole goal. When it all gets down to it, I want food that people that's beautiful, but people can make it. Anybody can make it. So, basically, I'm going to start with this pound cake, if that's okay. Okay. With you. Now, I also I'm going to show you variations on a theme as we progress. But we love a theme. I love it. I know. <laughs> I, I wanted to be a prom queen, so I think that's why I'm frustrated. I always wanted to be a prom queen. Now, what I'm doing, Miss Jasmine, is I'm just going to go ahead and cut this all the way. I'm going to toast this in the oven. Oh. Store-bought doesn't have to be bad. It can be very good. You know what I'm saying? People say, oh, it's store-bought. It doesn't matter as long as it tastes good. Now, I've already softened my butter. I like dual-purpose things, so I don't have to be bothered. A little butter, a little butter on this pound <laughs> cake, and basically it's going to toast for about four or five minutes, and then we'll make the, the topping, which is divine. Do you cook? I do cook. Yay! Yes. Oh my goodness gracious, that's awesome. And I love apples, especially in the fall, apple pie, apple oh, strudels. Yes. Have you made an apple pie? I have. I, I have. This too cool for color <laughs> TV. You're awesome because so many people don't cook anymore. But yeah, basically we're going to stick this puppy in the oven. But I'll be honest, I love shortcuts too because I don't do I don't make my own like pie crust. I do I do a little bit of store bought, a little bit of. Martha Stewart is overrated, okay? <laughs> I just want to go on record with that, people. Martha Stewart is overrated. This is such a lovely kitchen, by the way. Thank you. I can't take credit for it, but thank you. So we're putting it in the oven. How long does that stay in the Probably oven? Probably about four to five minutes. Okay, so not, a little not that long. No, ma'am. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast up the pecans. Now, I've never used this stove, so I guess it works just like normal. Is that that eye? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to heat up the butter a little bit. I have a little bit of sea salt here. Okay. And the reason is, you know how sweet and salt, that's mm -hmm. kind of like the Holy Ghost here. Mm -hmm. What we do is I am going to toast these pecans. You can do this in the oven, by the way, but we don't Let's have as much time. Getting... I was going to say, is it turned on? Yep, it is. Do not put your hand on the <laughs> oven. Your mother would spank your hand. So if you've made an apple pie, then you are aware that literally it's all sugar and spice mm -hmm. and everything nice. It's working. It's working. It's people, working. I promise. <laughs> I'm sitting here. Going, I love this fall setup too. Thanks, and and this is my Dollar Tree. You know, <laughs> can I say Dollar Tree? I hope so. It's like a dollar twenty-five tree now, but that's <laughs> another story too. Made me angry. But basically, people look to your own just creativity. It doesn't take any time and effort. It's very cute. People eat with their eyes. You know that. And so we want everything to be pretty. Now, now that I know that the butter takes a while to melt, I probably should have already melted it. But I'm learning. It's okay. I'm I'm, I'm not really a newbie, but I still got to learn. Now, most people won't think to add salt to a dessert. I know, but they should because salt, you know, when you watch cooking shows, you see all the time that the chefs always say it's, it's not seasoned enough. Everybody's afraid of salt because they're so afraid of high blood pressure. Moderation, peeps, moderation. So, and the reason this just gives the nuts a little extra bang for your buck. Now that I know it takes a while, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on, which I, mm-mm, it's that one, I bet. Or could it be this one? You're, st <laughs> you're just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, so I think. I'm thinking it is that I middle think, one, though. You know, this is fancy stove. 
It is very fancy. We love it? our kitchen here, though. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, who designed this? I'm so impressed. So basically, I know it's not, like you said, not the first day of fall, but I actually felt like it was a little cooler outside. It is a little cooler is outside. We can thank Tyler for that. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> for once. Tyler. Yeah, instead of blaming you for everything. So this is all this takes. It's just doing this back and forth. You, you want to stir it constantly because you don't want the nuts to burn. Um, and I'm going to let that be melting too. You want to stir that? Sure. Yay! We are whipping things up here You're in the kitchen. Chef. Yes, <laughs> yes, on this Friday, waiting for this eyes to get a little warmer I so we can melt this you know, butter I mean, good. And I sh I've never worked on this cooktop, so that's, I should have. It's a learning curve. It when is. you're in a new kitchen, you're always getting the feel of things, learning things. But don't worry, we will check back in with you a little later on and awesome. show off what we're making <laughs> here. But I'm excited. Thank you for having me. This, this is so yes. much fun. Yes, and we'll be back again here in the kitchen very soon.